Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Use NTFS file system for installing Windows 10 by default NTFS is the file system used by Windows operating systems. For removable flash drives and other forms of USB interface-based storage, we use FAT32. But the removable storage larger than 32GB we use NTFS you can also use XFAT your choice.16 January 2018. Make your mark, take our lead. The Windows installation itself can and should be on a NTFS partition. Having an empty space on a disk will let Windows Setup use that. If you choose that empty space to install too, and so configures that partition space by itself. 0.15 May 2015. Take our lead. Ah! Most USB boot sticks are formatted as NTFS, which includes those created by the Microsoft Store Windows USB DVD download tool. UEFI systems, such as Windows 8, can't boot from an NTFS device. Only FAT 32.28 November 2012. Take our lead. Yes, FAT32 is still supported in Windows 10, and if you have a flash drive that is formatted as a FAT32 device, it will work without any problems, and you'll be able to read it without any extra hassle on Windows 10.25 July 2019. Take our lead. Which is faster, while file transfer speed and maximum throughput is limited by the slowest link, usually the hard drive interface to the PC like SATA or a network interface like 3GWWAN, NTFS formatted hard drives have tested faster on benchmark tests than FAT32 formatted drives.16 July 2013. Take our lead. FAT32 and XFAT are just as fast as NTFS with anything other than writing large batches of small files. So if you move between device types often, you might want to leave FAT32, XFAT in place for maximum compatibility. 8 June 2016. Let's help you make your mark. Windows Vista and higher will not install on a FAT32 partition and can only be installed on an NTFS partition. This is probably due to the use of SIM links, which are not supported in FAT32.8 July 2014. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.